Ryan, thanks. Yes, it's an historic change by the Fed to monetary, monetary policy strategy, with the Fed becoming the first major central bank to put in place an average inflation targeting regime. The committee is going to seek to achieve 2% inflation over time and may aim for inflation above 2% in order to hit that average. Here's the before and after. Before, 2% was the target. Now, 2% is an average target that the Fed will allow inflation to drift moderately above 2% to hit the target over time. In another big change, the Fed added in its statement that it no longer will operate as if low unemployment means inflation will follow. In his speech, Powell explained why persistently low inflation is such a big potential problem. Inflation that is persistently too low can pose serious risk of the economy. Inflation that runs below its desired level can lead to an unwelcome fall in longer term inflation expectations, which in turn, can pull actual inflation even lower, resulting in an adverse cycle of ever lower inflation and inflation expectations. Hard to say what the new policy means for strategy right now. It certainly suggests the Fed that's going to keep rates lower for longer, and it could mean near term some resumption of the increase of the Fed's balance sheet where it buys assets in order to drive down rates even further. So why make the change? The Fed felt it was, well, something like a hamster on a wheel there, aiming for 2% inflation, keep missing the target, and see inflation expectations drift lower. Lower. It's trying to break that cycle by saying ahead of time that they're not just shooting for 2%, they're aiming for an average. And that could mean it could run hotter for a time, Brian.